This is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you have a 2018 or newer Ford F-150 equipped with a 5.0 and have a check engine light on with one or more of the following diagnostic trouble codes. Now it's been my experience that the cause of these DTCs is usually a sticking intake VCT solenoid. And depending upon what DTCs you have set, you could just have a bad intake VCT solenoid on one bank or both. Now to my knowledge, this issue affects particularly the 2018 to 2020 F-150 with the 5.0. However, this VCT setup is also used on later model F-150s equipped with the 5.0. And I'm assuming that these later models may also be affected by this issue as well. In this video, I'm going to describe some symptoms that may or may not be present when the VCT solenoid fails in this manner, and I'll explain briefly how the solenoid works, and I'll also give my theory as to why these solenoids fail in this way. Of course, one of the first symptoms that you'll experience is an illuminated check engine light. You may also experience poor drivability that seems to come and go. One particular symptom that I've experienced is a fluctuating idle. As the vehicle is allowed to idle, you may see the RPM needle go up and down slightly. This may be accompanied by a rough idle that comes and goes. You may also notice a rattling noise coming from the engine at times. Here's some video I took of an F-150's tachometer while the symptom was occurring. You can see that the RPM goes up and down slightly as the problem is happening. You may also experience poor drivability while accelerating or cruising. Now, for a simplified explanation of how this VCT solenoid works, of course, the VCT solenoid is a solenoid, and the solenoid is controlled by the PCM. The PCM delivers power to the solenoid, causing the pintle to be pushed out. Here's a demonstration of the solenoid in action. You can see when the power is applied to the solenoid, the pintle is forced outward. This pintle in turn pushes a valve inside the intake VCT unit as shown here. The movement of the valve inside the VCT unit opens oil passages inside the unit causing the VCT unit to advance or retard the valve timing on the intake camshaft. Now what I believe is happening when this particular failure occurs is that the pintle of the VCT solenoid is getting stuck in its movement. I took the liberty of taking some video while monitoring the PIDs for the VCT error on both intake cams on one of these engines while the problem was actually happening. And I believe what you'll see will help to kind of make more sense of my theory. Now before we get too far in looking at this PID here, let me just explain a few things for those who may not be as well versed in monitoring this particular PID. This PID represents the difference between VCT actual, that's the actual position of the camshaft, and VCT desired, which is the desired position that the PCM wants the camshaft to be in. For example, if the VCT actual is 10 degrees and the VCT desired is 0 degrees, then your VCT difference will be 10. So there's 10 degrees difference between what the actual position of the camshaft is in and what the PCM wants the camshaft to be in. And this VCT difference PID actually used to be called VCT error. And of course this is an error because the PCM is commanding one thing and it's not seeing what it expects to see at that point. And you can see on these PIDs here, the VCT error is quite a bit more substantial and goes back and forth. Now, some very brief VCT error is to be expected, especially when you're accelerating or decelerating. You can expect to see that error PID go up and down kind of rapidly, and, but it will return back to zero in hardly any time at all, maybe within a second. So some wandering is okay, but uh, when you get wonder and it's like staying outside of bounds for a long time, then you got a problem. So when the PCM sees an error that's occurring and it's bad enough and it lasts long enough, one of these codes is gonna set. So on this engine, you can see the fault happening on both intake cams. One will get stuck either retarded or advanced, and it will kind of hang out in that position for some time and then it will overcorrect 
sending the error all the way to the other side of the spectrum. What I believe is going on is that the PCM is commanding the solenoid in one position and it's not seeing the result at once because the solenoid is stuck. So it increases and increases the power until the solenoid finally pops loose and moves. But when it moves, it overshoots the desired position and then, of course, the cycle begins again because it moved too far. Now typically when I see one of these vehicles and it has one or more of these codes set, I'll first check the oil. If you don't have enough oil in it, of course the VCTs aren't going to operate correctly in the first place. If that's okay, I'll monitor these PIDs. If I see that these PIDs are behaving in this manner, then I'll throw an intake solenoid at it or maybe two. Whether I put one in or two depends on if I have codes set on both banks and have this issue on both banks. I feel very comfortable making this call early on in the diagnostic process. However, if you have this problem with these symptoms, don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying that you should just jump to this conclusion as quickly as I do. This is a very common problem on these five liters, but I'd always recommend that you follow a repair manual's instruction over any information that you may get from me. I do recommend going through the complete diagnostic process as outlined in a reputable repair manual. Well, that is it folks. Thank you so much for watching. Please read the entire description down below this video before you apply any of this knowledge or attempt this. There may be some things I need to clarify. That's where I do that. Also, please read the disclaimer at the very end of it and please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.